What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be episode number one of SEMA prep. For those of you who don't know, the Tacoma is going to SEMA. We're going to be in the Eaton Locker booth. Um, Eaton and Harp work very, very closely together and Harp just came out with a supercharger for the Tacoma. So that's going to be going on as well. That'll be in a later video. But today we are working on the Corbo seat install. So I've got some Trail Cat seats in here. I'll show you the color options that I chose here in just a second. Nice thing about Corbo seats is they make their own custom brackets for their seats to fit into your rig like OEM. So let's go and get these boxes open. Start episode one of SEMA prep. So here are my Corbo Trail Cats. Now I did the black with the almost cement gray just because the truck used to be cement and gray. So I figured, eh, let's bring back some originality to the truck. We did the lumbar supports so I can adjust lumbar support with this little uh, pump up globe here and also release pressure if I want to as well. Now I did go for the heated seat option since from the factory, my truck didn't come with heated seats and my wife loves heated seats. Her new car is heated seats. So figured we'd do the heated seats with these. I'm going to let Mitchell mess with these. I'm not even going to try. Um, but these seats from out of the box are really, really nice and really, really well done. The quality of stitching is super, super nice. Everything goes together really well. It's I mean, perfectly centered. All around, just a great product. These are the, so the Trail Cats are a reclining uh, seat. They have some fixed seats for more, I guess, aggressive off-road race use. But since the truck's a daily driver weekend warrior, I wanted something I could recline, move around if I needed to, um, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and bust out the brackets and get these things in the truck. So step one to this project is going to be disconnecting the battery. We are gonna be working some airbag connections underneath the front seats of the truck. So we want to make sure we disconnect the battery so the, those airbag connections do not have any power to them. So let's get the battery disconnected and get rolling. We're going to be removing these 14 mil bolts on the front two corners. Um, and then we're going to tackle the back. My truck is a mess. I have two Bernice Mountain Dogs. Get over it. Um, but I'm interested to see how this H3R fire extinguisher mount is going to go with those new brackets because if you guys don't already, it's one of the most overlooked things in the industry is having a fire extinguisher on board um, and one that's specifically made for automotive use. I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out H3R. They have some awesome products that have quick releases, just go like that and the fire extinguisher is out. Put it back in, close it up and you're done. But let's get these 14s out. Once you have those two 14 mils taken out, we're gonna slide the seat all the way forward. So once you guys remove those two front 14 mil bolts, uh, you're going to have these plastic covers here to get to these, slide the seat all the way forward. And then it should just be a couple of clips and you should be able to just pull those off. And then we're going to remove this 14 mil as well as that 14 mil. Yes, I know it's a mess. Adam's polish is just cleaning the whole thing and detailing it before SEMA. So it'll be nice and fresh. So when you got the four 14 mil bolts removed, I know I need a vacuum under there. You can tilt the seat back like this. And now we can start removing these plugs. This one is the yellow guy is press the white little clip, pull it up. It'll only go halfway, press it in again, pull it off. And then you'll have it off. This one is super easy. It just comes off of the actual mount on the seat. And then from here, same thing. I might not be able to do it with one hand, but press and you're going to pull this clip off this plug as well and the sun is out it's very bright and i'm just going to basically work my way all the way around unplug everything on here so i can pull this seat all the way out now the main harness is disconnected from the actual seat so the seat should be free now and just like that your seat is out and i've seen some videos that'll say to take off the entire door panel you guys don't need to do that. Just be careful when taking the seat out, not to hit anything. If you're scared about getting scratches, whatever, but 
as you can see, I got my seat out just fine without removing the door panel. So I'm gonna vacuum real quick and then we'll, we'll start getting brackets in. All right, so now that we got everything out of the truck, so the passenger side is out, there's a six millimeter Allen that you're gonna remove underneath the seat on all four corners. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna use those four bolts to mount those to the custom brackets that Corbeau makes. So they're gonna be labeled. So for mine, it's Toyota Tacoma PS passenger side, DS driver side. So make sure you keep an eye on that. And then your seat will be pretty easy to tell which is which based on the reclining lever. So let's go and take these out and then move forward. All right, we've got those out. Now we can line up our bracket here. Your handle is gonna to be towards the front of the seat. So we're just gonna line this up. So now that we have our passenger side bracket on our passenger side seat, we're gonna go ahead and remove the seat belt from the factory seat here. So there is gonna be a plug, we're gonna have to unplug that. And then basically I believe it's another 14 mil bolt. We'll unbolt this, put it on the new seat bracket, throw the seat in the truck. Transferring this over now should be pretty simple. Put it back to where it would have been on the OEM seat with the same 14 mil nut and you can move this around once this is tight you should be able to move it back to about here and here so i'm going to worry about that later getting it perfect inside that's not going anywhere perfect now fair warning when you do seats like this you are going to have your seat belt light on so you have to get it overridden by somebody that has access to a computer and knows how to do it. So, just something you get used to, I guess. So now that we've got our seat belt transferred over and our bracket on, we're gonna go ahead and slide this back in. Like so. Line everything up. Make sure that your adjustment for your lumbar support is on the correct side and not tangled up. There we go. And now we're just gonna put those factory 14 mils back in. All right, so real quick, this is the H3R quick release front seat bracket for the Tacomas. Um, it's really nice, you just pull this little red lever and your fire extinguisher is out. Put it back in, lock the lever down fire extinguishers back in. These are for dry chemical fires. They also got wet chemical fires, um, electrical fires, all sorts of things. So I'm gonna put this back in with the bracket. My wife hates it, but I like having it in the truck. It does work with the new seats. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, just because it's gonna bother the crap out of her. But red lever, pull it, fire extinguishers off. Need it back on, line it back up, and lock it in, and you're done. And it's nice and secure. All right, driver's side, same process. Let's rock. All right, so now we got this bracket all set and in place, so it's ready to go in the truck. Um, all we're gonna have to do is transfer over the seat belt from the driver's side to this side. So I'm gonna go and pull out the driver's side seat, unplug everything, and throw this bad boy in. So I figured you guys could handle doing this on your own, but just in case you can't, slide this little cover over and then we're just gonna start working it and put it basically lined up with the holes and put little screws in. go. 
pretty straightforward. All right, let's try it out and get it set up. Ooh. Go back a little bit. Just up a little bit. It's gonna take some getting used to. They're a lot different than the factory, that's for sure. I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is just how easy it is to install these Corbo seats. Make sure to obviously reconnect your battery when you're done. But a couple things to note here, install is very straightforward, very simple. You are gonna lose that airbag sensor and you are gonna lose your seat belt sensor. So find someone that can override that, deprogram that. That way your seat belt chime isn't going um, every time you start your rig and you go for your initial drive. But overall, seats are really comfortable. You guys saw me kind of set mine up. But a couple 14 mil bolts, a um, couple little screws to put stuff in, un unclip some, uh, some plugs, and you're basically good to go. Um, I will say they are pretty comfy. I'm a little bit larger. I am working on that right now. So eventually I will fit a little bit better in the seat. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Pick up a Dark Yoda tee or patch from the website. I'll link it down below. Um, getting the truck to SEMA is going to cost a little bit of money. So anything really helps uh, with a newborn on the way. But yeah, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.